<laughs> Isn't God good? All the time. We're here today to lay to rest. <laughs> so we're here today to be blessed. Amen. Are you are you are you serving God this morning? Are you happy about serving God? Let me see if I can get myself a little better in this picture. All right. Well, a little bit better. Oh, there we go. It's a little delayed on this end, so I'm having a hard time seeing where I'm at. Okay. Uh, sit back, stand up, get ready. We're going to have a good service. This service is going to be different. It's the most different Christmas service we've ever had. Today we have the Ever Christmas Parade. It looks like we have, a, even with the COVID and the rain, we have about 20 entries. Okay. And also, we're going to do our best to broadcast it live. Uh, from, uh, is that Main Street and Bottom Street? Yep. <laughs> Main Street and Edinburgh. From Main Street and Edinburgh, we're going to try to broadcast the Every Christmas Parade live. And it'll be at 3 o'clock. So uh, tune in at 3 o'clock and see what's going on. God is so good. Let's all stand up. Yeah, we still want to, still want to keep our, do our stuff because you know what? I hate to say I got, uh, I got a pair of socks. And COVID for Christmas, and they were both two sizes too big. <laughs> we're going to do something different for uh, Christmas, Christmas program. God's got all of this. We know he does. Has there ever been a time God didn't have it? That's my question. Has there ever been a time, somebody tell me, has there ever been a time God didn't have it? Nope. Has there ever been a time you didn't have it? Yep. Has there ever been a time you didn't let him have it? <laughs> That's right. And when you didn't let him have it, life lets you have it. Amen. Amen. So, so here we're going to go. We're going to... God is so awesome all the time. So let's just sit back and we're going to do something a little different. This is kind of sort of like a little bit of a cantata musical and y'all are going to sing in it. So here we go. Ready? The most recorded of all times Christmas song is Silent Night. Silent Night has very humble origins. It was written in a tiny village in Austria by Franz Gruber, who actually wrote the music, and Joseph Moore, who wrote the poem. Uh, churchmen, these are just churchmen who wanted a simple song to perform for Christmas. Since the organ had been damaged by flooding, they were trying to come up with a simple song that just blessed. Joseph actually had written a poem years before after he had seen a Christmas play by some traveling actors. On the way back to the church, he sat up on a hill and he looked over at the church and the Lord began to minister to him. So he began writing these words. And it come time when the church organ was broken and there was no way it looked they were going to have music because of the lack of music. He gave it to Franz and said, can you add music to this? So Franz put music to it. It was performed by the accompaniment of a guitar and was later performed by the groups of those traveling folk singers and they spread it around the world. Got some unusual stories about all these songs. Here's one here. But perhaps the most famous place to carol had been sung was almost, or was also the most unusual. It was in the trenches during World War I. In December 1914, hostilities had died down between the battles as tense English, French, and German soldiers waited for the next battle of gunfire. On Christmas Eve, what they got instead was an unexpected ceasefire. In certain places along the line, enemy soldiers ventured into no man's land to play games, exchange gifts, smoke cigarettes, celebrate together as best they could, knowing that in a few days they would resume fighting against each other again. Men recounted the beauty of their familiar Christmas carols that were sung among the soldiers. The Englishmen sang, God rest you, merry gentlemen. The French with their uh, Cante de Noel and Silent Night was sang in its original German. It was a song from a simpler time 
first performed on that mass on Christmas Eve in that small village. Centuries later, over the bloody, disease-riddled trenches, in hopes that there will be another silent night again soon, this beautiful song was sang. Let's all stand.
Sing it. Oh. Away. Christmas carols 
in America. Joy to the world. The Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. Let every nation prepare him room in heaven and nature sing. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the wonders of his majesty. It's all about when he comes again finally and rules in power and justice and mercy. Let's all stand and sing this together. Christmas Eve, 1871, 
in the middle of the Franco-Persian War, a French soldier jumped out of the trenches and started singing O Holy Night without a weapon in his hands. As he finished the song, a German soldier jumped out and answered with another favorite Christmas hymn. Afterwards, the fighting stopped for a full 24 hours to observe a temporary peace in honor of Christmas. After this story made its way into the general public, the French allowed O Holy Night back into the church. Here is an amazing Capella edition of Dwight's version with the words we all know and love. Legend has it that the French Catholic Church finally received a song back in their services after an encounter with French and German soldiers that night in 1870. During the lull in the fighting, some Christmas soldiers sang that song. It's amazing how it impressed the Germans to lay their weapons down. For that moment of peace. We have you, Jane.
Lord Jesus has been used as the pivotal point of history in many of the world's cultures. We define our human history by the initials B.C., before Christ, and A.D., Anno Domini, which means the year of our Lord. Beyond and beside this practical human invention is a deep reality that the incarnation of the Son of God is indeed the central point, the crucial point, the defining point, not just in human history, but in the grand and overriding plan and sovereign purpose of God, which he wheeled and determined before the creation of the world. All of the Old Testament looks forward to this point. All of the New Testament reflects back on this point. Here at this point, that we that which we were promised and anticipated is implemented and fulfilled, that which God said would happen, did happen. Here's God's eternal purpose, God's eternal plan. Here it is accomplished. Here's this pivotal point, this incarnation. Our ignorance of God is supplanted by the knowledge of God. Because of this pivot point, this incarnation, any human claim that God does not exist is nullified. Because of this pivot point, this incarnation, all human questions about God are answered. Because of this pivot point, this incarnation, all human accusations revolving around God and human sufferings are rendered void. Because of this pivot point, this incarnation, our fearful dread of God is replaced by joy in God's presence. Because of this pivot point, this incarnation of God, our deep human agony can be exchanged for deep, deep peace. Because of this pivotal point, we sinners can be declared saints of God. Because of this pivotal point, this incarnation, our guilt can be overwhelmed and disempowered by God's grace. But there's here another thing, a personal thing. Here at this pivotal point, the eternal and the infinite coincide with the temporary and the limited. Here life intermingles with death. Here God becomes man. And in becoming man, he confronts every one of us with the challenge that must be answered, that must be faced. Here's not just a pivotal point in the human calendar. Here's not just a dividing point in human history. Here's not only the fulfillment of the overpowering will and purpose of God. Here's also the pivotal point, the deciding point of every human life here in his incarnation. Each one of us must choose faith or unbelief. Life or death. Here, at this point, is the final opportunity, the final offer, the final command. Here God stands before us and says, here I am. This is who I am. This is what I am. Repent. Believe. Choose me. Choose life. Father, we love you and we thank you for this day. We thank you, God, for this opportunity, Lord, to have been able to have this service. Lord, we know, God, that although it's raining on the outside, although it looks rough on the outside, we know that life has that same characteristic. So many times it looks rough on the outside. We know on the inside we can still have peace. I ask you right now, Lord, to touch each person here today. I ask you, God, to bless them, Lord, because I know everybody, everybody has their battles. But you showed us you loved us so much that you sent your son in the form of man in order that he can say, I know how you feel. And he can say, I did it. So I know that you can too with my help. We thank you for the incarnation because it points to Calvary. And we thank you for Calvary, but without the incarnation, it would have never happened. We thank you, God, for all that you do for us. All the time, you're an awesome God, and we thank you for all. In the name of Jesus, we pray.
And the church says, Amen. Amen. Now, I hope you have a blessed Christmas and come up with it. And if I decide to get here, come here so fast. You know, it's like, wham, here we are. Pray that, you know, God can stop the sun for Joshua. He can stop the rain for this parade. Amen. Amen. Wouldn't it be cool if it was pouring rain everywhere but down Academy Street? <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? Come on this afternoon. If you're in the parade in any way, come on earlier uh, and let God bless us, okay? This is a way we show the community love. One of the many ways we show them love. So come on, be in the parade. Be in the parade or be by the parade or something. We're not going to have refreshments like we normally have because of COVID. But Santa will be sitting right under that stoop if it's not raining. And it'll have roped off so the children have to be six foot from him. But he still is going to hand them. They're going to be handed safely candy and a, and a hug bug. And uh, we know God's got this. Amen. Look at somebody and say, God's got this. Praise the Lord. Look at somebody and tell me, you're looking good. And if you can't say it, tell them to put their mask on and say it. <laughs> Everybody let's stand. Brother Steve, you dismiss us in prayer, please. Father God, we just praise you, Lord. We thank you for this time, this season. Lord, and let us always remember that with the step and the stand we've 